We have some data on our site that we want to make visible to visitors. In this section, we are going to look at using views to expose that data. We will cover creating page displays and block displays. In this video, we are going to use views to create a page to display our products. We are going to look at using the views wizard to create a page display, creating a filter on a page that we will expose to visitors, and learning more about views. Navigate through Manage, Structure, Views, and click the Add New View button. We are going to create a product listing page, so we will indicate that we want only the product content type and that we want to create a page display type. The wizard has picked some sensible defaults for us, and if we scroll to the bottom of the page, we will see what the page display would look like if we use the current settings. One piece of configuration we need to add is the ability to filter products by taxonomy terms. Click the Add operation next to the filter criteria. We can search on Term to quickly get to the filter we want, Has Taxonomy Term. We are going to end up adding one filter for each of the vocabularies and we'll use the drop down for the selection type for all of them. The key thing we need to remember is to check the checkbox that says to expose the filter to visitors. We will also want to give a label for that drop down that will make more sense to users of the site. Views preview functionality will again show us what the page will look like. Since that filter is looking the way we desire, we will finish the process by doing the same thing for the remaining three vocabularies. Let's change the sort functionality. Click the content authored on link and then click remove. Now click the add button next to the sort criteria label. We are going to sort by title. The last thing we need to do is to place a link to our page in the menu. A normal menu entry is fine for our purposes. And now we have completed our work on creating our first display with views. If we wanted to create another display to list products, we can click the add button that appears near the top of the views project page. As we can see, there are quite a few options available to us. As we enable different modules, we will find that some of them provide additional display types. If you would like to learn more about views, you can look at the Views and Views UI help topics, as well as https colon forward slash forward slash www.drupal.org forward slash docs forward slash eight forward slash core forward slash modules forward slash views forward slash overview. Well, why don't we head back to the front end of our site and have a look at what our page looks like? What a lovely listing of products we have. We will just want to organize our menu structure. So before viewing the next video, make sure that you update the menu so that the products listing page appears before the user guides.